the Duchess of Cornwall has arrived at Vintners Hall in London for what is her third outing of the day. Having only finished her engagement at the Royal Academy of Arts a few hours ago Camilla hopped home to Clarence House to change before heading out again. And the 71-year-old looked resplendent as she arrived at the dinner for the English and Welsh wine industry on Thursday night. Camilla, who is president of the Wines of Great Britain, wore a sweeping midnight blue velvet gown for the occasion this evening. She kept out the severe chill with her Amanda Wackley black cape, a popular choice with the Duchess of Late having been seen wearing it earlier today and during her visit to Froome on Wednesday. She could be seen carrying a small blue clutch embroidered with a gold thread constellation. The royal added a touch of bling with a three-strand pearl choker, fastened at the front with a turquoise blue stone. With the evening centering around wine it was no surprise to see Camilla enjoying a glass of red at the reception. She then delivered a short speech to fellow guests and members before settling down to dinner. The Duchess has been our president of the board since 2011, supporting the growing English and Welsh wine industry. Her Royal Highness has visited many vineyards and attended events, always demonstrating her knowledge and genuine interest in English and Welsh wines according to the society. Earlier today Camilla visited the prestigious Royal Academy to learn more about its newly opened learning facilities and education programs. She popped into a class run by artists group Portugal Prints, which runs sessions for adults with mental health difficulties, where model Zoe Simon, 41, was posing in an eccentric tutu-style outfit. The Duchess did a double-take when she first spotted Miss Simon, who was standing stock-still for the students, and exclaimed, Sorry. I didn't realize it was a real model at first, adding, with clothes on. Earlier today Camilla was at Westminster Abbey to remember the extraordinary life of Lord Carrington. Lord Carrington, who was the last surviving member of Winston Churchill's post-war cabinet and the last Tory Foreign Secretary to quit until Boris Johnson, died a month after his 99th birthday last July. The peer served in every conservative administration from Churchill to Margaret Thatcher, before quitting on principle in 1982 after failing to anticipate the Argentine invasion of the Falklands. It is widely considered the most honorable resignation in British political history. Many of the most influential politicians of recent decades attended today's event and were joined by the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke of Kent, who represented the royal family.